the reason why I wanted to do the show, which is what you asked, is that I just want that ability to inspire people. At the end of my career, I recognized it pretty deeply that it was an honor and something of value and um, something I, I liked doing and was pretty good at doing. I wanted to do that after racing and I didn't exactly know how that was gonna go, um, but the show was a great way to do it. Have you um, had Aaron on your podcast? <laughs> no, I haven't, but- Have you guys um, talked about it? Yeah, 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 I asked him, yeah. I, 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 again, a little like some of those people that I mentioned, I, I need to be ready. Like I, it's, a, it's, it's, here's one thing. It's almost harder to interview somebody you know really well because mm -hmm. you don't know where to start. I will almost probably read research on him just to like create a little bit of a, of a timeline of like bullet points. But I mean, I know them because I know him so well, mm -hmm. but, but I don't know. It'll be interesting how I formulate that. There's also that fine line of what do we talk about and what shouldn't we talk about, right? Exactly. Because we're not gonna, it's You're not like we're just going to let you just look at our life for a week in depth and you know know everything ins and outs and tell you everything it's gonna there's going to be th things with health just like you wouldn't tell everything everything that goes on in your world when the two of you are talking you got to know where that line is of where you don't want to cross but i still think that it could apply i still, I still think i can apply the rules that i apply to, apply to everyone else where it doesn't need to be personal and we don't need to make you out to be um a bad person like a rod didn't need to be a bad person because he you know was in trouble for um taking performance enhancing drugs he was Let's just talk about how you are the man you are today from that. No matter what he's gone through, it could still be applicable for him. Like, okay, forget that this happened, but what did you learn from that? And would you be open to, if you guys were to do one, like, how much would you peel that? Yeah, I mean, as, relationship? Yeah, I mean, would you guys a be lot, comfortable yeah. With that? Yeah, he's more private than I am, but, but yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I wonder I, if he'd want to know the questions before or not. I don't know. <laughs> Would you, you guys have to have a, I don't know. like a pre-conversation negotiation? Here's the good news: like... I'm in charge of the whole thing. Yeah, like I make the final calls on what goes, what doesn't go, mm -hmm. what airs, what doesn't air. Yeah. and um, I'm gonna tell you that at the expense of my relationship, I would never put anything out there that wouldn't be good. So it'd exactly. be fun to just have a like a really free. Probably, should, I'm, I would imagine we would just a super free conversation, yeah. and then at the end, you have some perspective on it and. Look, I, you know, I'm the final edit. How do you deal with him being on the road? I mean, like, obviously, you've had relationships where you've been on the road before, but when he's like, when he's out doing his thing, he gets a little more quiet around game weekend, like, you know, when it's uh, once things really get going. Um, but you know, I, and at the end of the day, it's a lot of work at the at the at the stadium too. We still have fun, but but it's like I try and set this nice mood when he comes home of you know incense and good music and you know uh i mean i could really top it off with some cupcakes he loves cupcakes um but i, I try and make them? it a good oh yeah i try and make it like a really just you know make it a zen environment for when he comes home because it's a nice contrast to what he's been in all day are you are you talking about marriage i mean i would hope that's the intention i think that i think that you know look there's no guarantees in life but as long as you have that intention that's what matters right yeah like you are you do you have a girlfriend do you have I'm a married. wife you have a wife yeah i'm married what's your intention <sighs> to be married yeah Stay right married. you can't yeah. be guaranteed marriage though right sure no, you, 10 gotta, years one year 50 yeah, years you can't be guaranteed you just have that intention yeah so that's the intention <laughs>